It's Indiana in the Morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank here on WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. Cindy Donmeyer is with us from the Indiana Regional Medical Center. Good morning. Good morning, Todd. It's been a while since we've had you on the air. Yeah, I think it has been, hasn't it? Yeah. Are we talking Climber Little League or are we talking something else? Well, I think we better talk about the volunteers today. Ah, that's a better (laughs) idea. Let's talk about volunteerism at the Indiana Regional Medical Center. Uh, When people hear that name, Marge Sheeran, automatically they think of volunteers at IRMC. She coordinated the volunteer efforts at IRMC for so many years. And um, every year, I don't know if people are aware of this, every year IRMC holds a special event to honor the people who volunteer at the hospital. Yes. And you've just held that. Yes. Yes, we do. We hold a volunteer recognition lunch every April. It's usually the second Tuesday of, of that month um, in conjunction with National Healthcare Volunteer Week. It also falls in April, and um, we hold it over at the Rustic Lodge. We have a good number of volunteers, uh, a little over 100 right now. So Mm -hmm. they serve in various places within the hospital. Uh, I think most people see them immediately when they come in the front door at the information desk. They help Mm -hmm. to get people going in the right direction. Uh, We also have them in behind-the-scenes areas, such as our mail room, where they sort all of the hospital's incoming mail and get it directed to the right departments. Um, We also have some ladies who do some knitting for us, little gifts for the newborns, and also for patients like the the shawls or the lap blankets. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, the people who do volunteer work at IRMC, a very special group of people. And um, and there's been a new award named in honor of Marge, and... uh, the very first one of those was given out this year. It was. That was a big excitement about the event this year. Um, we started accepting nominations at the end of January. And as soon as we put out the call for nominations, they started flooding into the administration oh, yeah. office. And my coworker and I, our excitement started to build getting ready for April. Um, the, the award this year was bestowed to Millie Miller. Millie is a volunteer who has also, like Marge, has also served at Indiana Regional Medical Center for over 40 years. Wow. You see her smiling face at the front desk on days when she's there. She also can be seen at the cash register in the pantry and also in the emergency room is where she volunteers. So she, like, like Marge, she's just a very positive, happy person. Um, she looks forward to coming to Indiana Regional Medical Center to volunteer. Uh, her comments at the luncheon the other day is it's really, we become her family, and she, mm. she enjoys being part of it. Yeah. And, and we are very thankful that she is part of it. That really is the spirit of volunteerism uh, yeah. that Marge embodied and that Millie does as well. Absolutely. And that's what you look for, uh, those kinds of folks uh, who are such giving people uh, who have so much to give, and there are probably people in the community right now uh, who have that same sort of spirit, and you'd love to see them helping out at the IRMC as well. Absolutely. Um, you know, we would welcome anybody who's interested in volunteering um, to contact our volunteer office, uh, the number 724-357-7006. And right off can, the top of her head, boys and girls. We can get you connected to the volunteer office if you call that number and uh, get you an application out to you, and, and then the process can begin as far as bringing you in and talking with you and seeing where you're interested in volunteering and seeing where you're the best fit. Yeah, and that's an interesting point there because uh, people might think, well, I'd love to help out in some way, but I don't know how. I don't know what my, my skill set would apply to. But, uh, uh, but that little simple interview process is going to help identify where they would be able to help best. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. What are some of the... We mentioned volunteers at the front desk who are the most visible. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said Melly works sometimes down in the emergency room uh, and, and some of the other areas where people work in volunteering. Yeah, but we don't know about them. We don't know that they're volunteers. We might even say, wow, we see them every time we come into the hospital. Mm-hmm. Uh, they must be just be regular employees, but they're really volunteering their time. Right. Um, some of the other areas, we have volunteers that work in our waiting room on the fourth floor. While the patients are in surgery, they help to keep the communication going with the family members that are in the waiting room. So that's another area where we can always use some more help at. Um, the hospitality cart is another area. Those are the volunteers that take the 
the little snack cart throughout the different patient units and mm-hmm. offer magazines, candy, newspapers to patients and their family members who are there visiting them. Um, we also have volunteers down at our Chestnut Ridge facility in Blairsville. They serve similar to the information desk at the hospital. They greet the patients and they help get them to the right area down there, whether it's the lab, the x-ray, or any of the physician offices that they're looking to find. I know within the whole volunteerism network at IRMC, there might be certain restrictions, but are there age limitations for people who volunteer at IRMC? Uh, No, not really. We uh, start volunteers as young as 14 or 15 in our junior volunteer program. And then we have some as old as in their 90s still volunteering. So I think that helps give some people a reason to get up in the morning and, you know, put their shoes on and get out and get moving as if they can come and volunteer and make a difference for people. And and that is a great point there. They make a difference for people. And um, I, I think if folks realized how much volunteerism goes on, um, all throughout our community, but certainly at IRMC, uh, they would be really, really surprised. But that, that smiling face that, that simply greets you uh, gives you that sort of reassurance. A hospital can be a pretty scary environment for folks, especially first-timers. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, so volunteering is, is a wonderful thing. I think that's pretty well established, no matter what we're talking about. In this case, we're talking about IRMC. Um, but uh, the volunteer... Uh, efforts uh, that have been championed for so many years by people like Marge Sheeran and Millie. Uh, congratulations on that award too. It's a it's a very very special thing, and uh, and certainly we want to celebrate that. Um, and the fact that there is an actual volunteerism department or or person uh, heading up the volunteers, Marge is an awful big presence to have to replace, isn't she? She absolutely is. <laughs> yeah, she did it for for so very many years, and she had just that that wonderful attitude about being there uh, and uh, knowing how vital the effort for volunteerism is at IRMC. You know, and she was such a humble person. Um, I think my fondest memory of her is her, just her comment that, you know, we're here to serve. It's what we do. And that was just kind of the way she kept the, the program running. You know? mm-hmm. I think probably in Marge's case, and this might be the case with others, uh, even when her health was uh, really going downhill, she always wanted to be there at IRMC. It, the volunteering probably kept her alive a few years longer uh, because uh, she loved it so much. Yes, she she did. And even I would um, visit her when her health did start to decline and she wasn't able to be inside the walls. Her, her focus was still on the program at Indiana Regional. And um, she... She was definitely a loyal service person it was, to the hospital. It was tireless work, and uh, Marge's spirit is still celebrated at IRMC today. That's pretty comforting to know uh, that um, the organization, the IRMC Hospital, uh, actually recognizes the efforts of their volunteers as being such a, a, an important part of the mission of Indiana Regional Medical Center. They truly are. You know, They are a very vital part of our family, our team over there at IRMC. Uh, they do so many things on a daily basis that just it's the little things that make the difference for our patients and our um, their families and even the employees. They they do a lot to help the employees out as well. So they we we'd be lost without them. Absolutely. Cindy Dunmire, thank you so much for coming in to visit with us. Thank you for having me, Todd. We appreciate it. It is Indiana in the morning, presented by First Commonwealth Bank, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160. Congratulations.